Hey guys, my name is Tanner McGrath and I cover Major League Baseball here at the Action Network. Happy Thursday. Uh, pretty good day of baseball going on today. Still some playoff um, seeds to be decided over the last four days of the regular season. One of the teams vying for an American League wildcard spot is the Toronto Blue Jays. They're playing against the New York Yankees and I will be betting on the Toronto Blue Jays at about minus 180 on the money line. It's a bit juicy, but... The reason for this one is simple. Uh, when you have two right-handed starting pitchers and a Yankees lineup that cannot hit right-handed pitching, you bet the other side. It has been New York's problem all season. They have no depth and no balance in the lineup, only right-handed power hitters, so they struggle against right-handed pitching. And look, I don't love either right-handed starting pitcher in this one, but I will take Toronto's Chris Bassett over New York's Luke Weaver. Weaver's on his third team this year. Um, he has a mid-sixes ERA and a mid-fives expected ERA. A pretty ugly batted ball profile. His stuff indicator, stuff plus metrics, have dropped since joining the Yankees, which is really bad. And while he did recently hold the Diamondbacks to no runs over five innings, earning a win in that one, he also allowed eight hard-hit balls with an average exit with an, a, an exit velocity over 95 miles per hour, and that just will not bode well against the hard-hitting Toronto offense. Also, I give the bullpen advantage to Toronto here. They've been a better bullpen by the metrics over the past two weeks. They're fully rested, and Blue Jays manager John Schneider should manage this game like a playoff game. Uh, the Blue Jays are only a half game ahead of Houston for the third uh, for the second wild card spot, and only two games ahead of Seattle for the third spot. So Schneider should keep Bassett on a short leash, uh, use his recently adept bullpen to keep the Yankees' lackluster off platoon offense at bay over nine innings. I expect the Jays to scrape enough by against Weaver and the Yankees' bullpen to win this one convincingly, and I'm happy to lay the juice to do so. Another pick that I'm looking at today, you know, the weather has been crazy in September. Major League ballparks across the league are seeing cold temperatures and windy conditions that are significantly hindering the run environment. One of those places is in Seattle. Seattle was already the most pitcher-friendly ballpark by MLB, in MLB by StatCast Park Factors. Today, the wind is blowing in directly from center field. The temperatures are in the low 50s for tonight's game. So, per Ballpark Pals model... We have about a minus 17% run factor that is going to significantly hinder any run creation. And look, we can trust Rangers starting pitcher Jordan Montgomery to handle the Seattle offense here. Montgomery is an effective southpaw sinker baller with an elite infield defense behind him. So he likes to force ground balls and let the Rangers gobble them up. And Seattle just is not hitting that well. Uh, 19th in WRC plus against left-handed pitching over the past month. Meanwhile, I've always been a huge fan of Logan Gilbert, um, Seattle starting pitcher for today. He has great command, above average stuff, but those that stuff, his stuff indicators have jumped recently. He has a 116 stuff plus rating over the past 30 days, including a 147 stuff plus rating on his slider. He's apparently changed his slider a bit recently. I'm not exactly sure how, but whatever that he's done, the improvements are significant. He's forced 21 whiffs on that pitch in his past three outings. It's a totally different, more deadly pitch. The Rangers' bullpen isn't that great, but the Mariners have a deep and deadly bullpen, and I think that there are enough arms combined with a lackluster run environment to keep this game very low scoring. Our Action Network model makes this total 6.8, so there's plenty of value on the under 7.5s available out here. I would probably take it down to 7. Good luck on all your wagers today and into the weekend. Go Lions on Thursday Night Football, and check back into the Action Network YouTube channel for more daily action picks.